Hey, welcome to my studio in New England. My name is Didi. Today we're going to do a full body yoga sequence. And it's going to start off first in your seated position. So finding your seated position with the crossed legs, try to soften the entire body. Make some little movements, allowing yourself to settle throughout the entire body. And relax the shoulders down, ground down through the sit bones. Just find a place to be centered on your mat. Soften the eyes and the jaw. And notice your breathing. In and out. Bring in the hands into prayer heart center. Thumbs to the heart center. Take a moment to set your intention. And slowly open your eyes. All right, so let's go ahead into the first posture we're going to do is to lie on our back. So bending your knees, you want to roll down onto your back, roll down. Oh, relaxing your shoulders, bring your knees into your chest. Hug them nice and close and rock from side to side. Giving yourself a nice little massage. And bring your arms out to a T. Go ahead and drop both knees off to the right. Give yourself a nice little twist here. Breathing nice and deep. Coming back to center. Go ahead and take both knees off to the left. Just feeling a nice stretch, nice twist. Come back to center. Let's go ahead and do that again. Drop to the right. The left arm could be extended down to the floor. Left shoulder is down to the floor. Come back to center. Go ahead and do the other side. Then come back to center. Hands onto your knees and grab the knees towards your chest. I'm going to rock forward and back towards the front of the mat. And then you're going to cross your lower legs, grab onto your feet, tuck them underneath real deep. And roll over to your legs and come on up. And then here you can have your knees untucked, your toes untucked here. Sit back onto your heels. And go into a gentle child's pose. Just allowing yourself to become centered onto your mat. As you begin to take your thoughts and just let them be drawn down into the floor, into an imaginary hole. This allows us to become present into the now. Softening the shoulders, the entire back, and even the hip area. Try to soften, letting go. And then bring your arms alongside your body. If you're going to interlace your fingers, and just interlace them like this behind your back. 
You don't need to have your palms together here. You can separate your palms. And you want to roll the shoulders up towards the ceiling. And then straighten your arms. Roll the shoulders even more. And then start to extend your arms up towards the ceiling. Squeezing the shoulder blades. And lengthen your tailbone down towards the, the back of your mat. Release. And then you're going to do a funny interlace. So we normally go the dominant side. I'm going to go ahead and switch the fingers so that they are kind of awkward. So bring in your hands behind your back again. Interlace the opposite pinky on top. Again, relax your forehead down. So you want to roll the shoulders up first. And then you can start to straighten your arms up towards the ceiling. And slowly release. I'm going to go ahead and do the regular interlace behind your back. This time you're going to bring your thumb to touch your lower back. And then you're going to slide your thumbs up to the left side. And you'll notice that your right shoulder will start to go back as you do this. And then start to walk your forehead over to the left. Relax your arms down. As you get a little stretch to the right side of your neck, all the way to the shoulder. Getting it from here all the way down. Just soften into the stretch and go as far as you like. Come back to center, bring the thumbs back to the lower back, and then you Draw them down to the right. So you're opening up your left shoulder. And then you want to walk your forehead over to the right. And you feel the stretch in the left side of your neck. Breathing nice and deep. And come back to center. And then bring your hands back onto your back, keeping them interlaced. You're going to shift forward to your, on the top of your head. You don't want to put a lot of weight on your head. You're just kind of supporting yourself as you lift your hips up and then roll the shoulders up to the ceiling. And then again, arms will go straight and then bring them up to the ceiling. So you'll feel a bigger stretch in the front of the shoulders, a little bit on the back of your neck. Release your arms down, come back onto your heels, and relax the arms alongside your body into a child's pose. Breathing in and out. Equal in length. And then go ahead and extend your arms in front of you. Walk your fingers towards the front of the mat as far as you can to create length into your side body. Spread your fingers and plant them down onto the mat. Walk your hands over to the left, stretch the right side of the body a little bit more. So your right hip is still planted down into your right heel. And so they come back to center on an inhale. Exhale, go ahead and walk your hands over to the left, stretching the left side of the body. You can relax your head down to the floor, or maybe even onto your upper arm. Nice breathing. And here, come back to center. Walk your hands back. You bring your knees together, bring your tips down onto the floor, 
And you want to be high on your fingers for the first cat cow sequence. So knees are hips width apart, the arms are in line with the shoulders and the rest. Now high onto your fingers. This will give you a little bit more room. So inhale, drop the belly, lift your tailbone, look forward. Kind of squeeze the shoulders back. You'll notice they're going back high knees. And then exhale, you're going to round your back up and you're going to push down into the floor with your hands, both sides. Push down, you're really rounding your upper back, lengthen the tailbone down, and then chin to chest. Inhale, dropping the belly, rounding down towards the floor, and bring those shoulders back. This is the sequence I like to do. Exhale and going into cat in the morning. Gives me a little bit more room when I'm stiff. Inhaling, dropping your belly down. And exhaling, rounding up. Now you can flatten your hands down. And then inhale, drop your belly into cow. So you have that motion of rolling your shoulders back. Exhaling at the cat, pushing into the floor. Two more time on your own. Inhaling the cow. Exhaling the cat. Inhaling the cow. And then your last. Exhale into cow. Inhale, come back to center. So we're going to be coming up onto our toes. So bring your fingers down. Lift your knees, walk your hands back towards your feet, or you can bring your feet towards your hands, whatever works for you. From here, we're going to bring our hands pretty far in front of us. We want to shift forward so that we're going to stretch our toes out a little bit. So you come high on your toes and stretch them out. Bring your heels back down. Do that a few times, really warming up our little toes, stretching them out. And we do that as many times, wiggle the toes, spread them apart, come forward and come high onto your toes. You can see this nice stretch right in the front. It's really good for the soles of your, by the, the bottom of your feet. And release. Look at the toes. And one more time. Come high onto the toes. Stretch it out. And then bring yourself back down. You can walk your feet up back a little bit. Come back down onto your knees. We're keeping the toes tucked here. You can see that they're still staying forward to the front of your mat. Going to go into more deeper stretches with our toes. And go ahead and bring your knees down. If that's too much, just stay up with your knees up. You can see the stretch is going on in your toes. Nice, easy breathing here. It can be pretty intense if you're not used to stretching out your toes. But just kind of explore what they feel like. Normally go as far as it feels good. Okay. Back to a forward fold, just to kind of wiggle the toes out. Take your hands forward again, come down so your knees become level with your mat to the floor. You can maybe rock forward and back, just kind of feeling what the toes feel like. And then extend back up into a forward fold. Shake out your head. And again, let's do that again. If you feel like you can go onto your knees, then walk your hands back and sit onto your heels. Now this can be pretty intense. So it just goes as far as it feels okay. I'm gonna show you in this direction, in this angle. Roll the shoulders back. Sit. So you still have your nice long spine as you set up onto your heels. 
Pull the shoulders back and relax your eyes and your jaw. Now this definitely can be very intense for some people. If there's too much, just come forward and wiggle the toes. Do that a couple more times. You can stay right here. You can walk your hands back. This may be enough, or you can even bring your knees up. That would just be a little less. So you just want to feel the toes, stretch them out, and come on on up. Relax the shoulders. And then we can come up and wiggle the toes. And bring your toes down, walk your hands back a little bit towards your knees. Just lift your knees, see if you can stretch the front of your feet. So you can notice how the front of my feet is stretching. Come back down, look at the toes. One more time. Flex the toes down into the floor. And then lift up, just so you can stretch the front of the feet. And then we'll release. I have big toes together and sit back into our child's pose. Just relax. Again, feel centered onto your mat. You soften your body. And you can come on up. Walk your hands forward. Spread the fingers. Tuck the toes. Let's make our way into our first downward dog. So I always like to bicycle in my downward dog, especially first thing in the morning. Just shaking out the head from one side to the other, saying yes or no. You want to be able to bring your bicep backwards. You're spiraling your bicep, uh, tricep that way and biceps this way. Spiral it. Turn. Come high onto your toes and nice and stretched out on an inhale. And then exhale, bend your knees and walk your feet up to the front of the mat, any way you like. Spread those toes, inhale, placing your fingers onto your shins and create a flat back. And then exhale, fold over your legs and shake out your head. We're going to separate our feet about hips width apart, bend into our knees. Place your hands onto your thighs. We're going to be doing a breathing exercise here. It involves really using your belly muscles. It's a good way to train your belly for the practice so that you keep your belly nice and strong. I'm going to take a nice inhale. Exhale, just fold over your legs. Draw the belly in. Inhale, coming up. Bring the shoulders back, create a flat back here. And then exhale, fold. Draw the belly in. Inhale, come back, halfway up. Big inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep a nice straight spine here. And then exhale out, fold, and then draw the belly in. Inhale again, place your elbows onto your thighs. Taking it nice and easy here, draw the shoulders up and back. And exhale, fold. And then draw the belly in. Come round your back a little bit here. Inhale, come halfway up again. Exhale, go ahead and fold. This time, place your hand on the top of your thighs. And then squeeze the belly in as much as you can. Your spine will be rounded. Inhale, fold in, halfway up. And then exhale, fold completely. 
place your hands onto your thighs, squeeze the belly into the rib cage, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale to halfway up. And exhale, fold and straighten your legs. And just hang your side to side into ragdoll. You can keep your knees bent here if you want. It could be a little bent. And then the arms are to a T. You come up with a flat back. Coming all the way up to standing and extend your arms up overhead. Exhale, release that. We're going to do some salutation A. So we'll be moving a little quickly. The full body stretch out here. Nice strengthening pose. So now that your belly is activated, inhale, extend your arms up overhead. Soften your eyes. Exhale, hinge and fold over your legs. Shake out the head here. Bring your tips onto your shins and create that nice flat back. So shooting the crown out to the front of the room. Exhale, place your hands down and step your right foot back as far as you can. Left foot back into a plank pose. Charge it up here. Belly's in, drawn into the spine. And shift forward. You can lower your knees for the first one, and then lower your belly down to the floor. Untuck your toes, bring your hands back, keep your elbows close, roll the shoulders up towards the ceiling. So you roll them up, lift your upper part of your body, your chest up into a baby cobra. Keep your neck nice and long. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes and rest in into a downward facing dog. And stretching it out. The one breath. Then you exhale, go ahead and bend your knees. Rock your feet up to the front of the mat. Inhale to a flat back. Really roll the shoulders up. Crown of the head going out. Exhale, fold. You don't know, you can shake out your head. You're trying to dump out tension. We'll get rid of it. Arms out to a T. Come up with a flat back and extend your arms up overhead. Exhale, release down. Ready to another one. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees. Place your hands down. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back into a plank pose. This time you can lower into chaturanga. So shift forward so you can bend into your elbows. Lower down and tuck your toes. See my shoulders are going forward. You want to bring them back behind you. So roll them back and away from your ears. And then roll over your toes. Go into your downward down. Trying to find a nice smooth transition between the postures. Keeping your breath connected with the pose. So inhale, cup high on the toes. And exhale, bend your knees, look forward, walk your feet up. Inhale to a halfway forward fold. And exhale, fold over your legs and shake it out. Arms out to a T, come on up to a head. Extend your arms overhead, exhale, release. Again, inhale up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees. Make your way into a plank pose. And shift forward down into a chaturanga. And then inhale to your upward dog. So I'm opening up my chest. Allows movement for my lungs. Roll over your, shoulder, your toes into a downward facing dog. Couple long depth breaths. Deep breaths here. Inhale, high onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, walk your feet up. Inhale to a halfway lift. 
and exhale fold. My here and my dog at the door. <laughs> Inhale, arms out to a T. Come up to a standing and extend your arms up overhead. Exhale, release down. Fall right into chair pose. So bend your knees, lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor. Arms up alongside your ear. Exhale, fold over your legs. Reach your hands down and go into a forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees. Step your right foot back. Lower your right knee. And you can use your left leg to help you come up. Again, roll the shoulders back. And you want to be able to sink down into the hips this way. And just roll the shoulders back and lengthen the tailbone down. And keep the hips in neutral position to the front of the room. And lower your hands down, touch your toes, go into a plank. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale into a downward facing dog. One breath here. Inhale, right leg up to this, towards the sky. Bend the knee, bring it up. Squeeze the belly in. And then step the right foot over to the right hand. And lower the left knee down. Use your right hand to help you come up. Again, you want to lengthen the tailbone down, sink into the hips, roll the shoulders back. And you can extend your arms up overhead if you like. Exhale, bring your hands down. Now we're going to be stepping to the front of the mat. You step up to the front of the mat to meet the other foot. Inhale to halfway up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees. Come right up into a chair pose. Bring the arms alongside your ear. Lengthen the tailbone down. And then come up to standing. Right to the other side. Inhale. Arms up. Sink into your chair pose. Exhale. Hinge and fold. Place your fingers down. Make a nice forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale. Bend your knees. Step your left foot back. But as you can, keeping your right foot where it is, lower the left knee down and tuck the toes and come up to another low lunge. Arms up overhead. And then lower your hands down, tuck your toes. Coming into a plank pose. And a big inhale here. Exhale, lay yourself to Chanalanga. Inhale to the upward facing dog. Exhale into down facing dog. So breathing nice and deep here. And exhaling as you sink into it. Shaking out the head a little bit. Get rid of any tension. And in next in here, step your left foot straight up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, round your back, squeeze the belly in. And then step your left foot over to meet the left hand. Drop your right knee down and tuck your toes if you like. Use your left leg to help you come up. Roll the shoulders back behind you. Lengthen the tailbone down as you extend your arms up. And again, we're going to step the right foot up to meet the left foot. Lower down. And then straighten the back leg as you step it up. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into your knees and come right back into a chair pose. And then coming up to standing. Okay, so I'm going to come to the, staying at the front of your mat. I'm going to take this foot to be my hand here. And this foot is going to be my right hand. Now, I want you to imagine that this is the heel of your front foot, and this is the arch of your back foot, so right here. What you want to do is you want to be able to line it up. 
So when you step back, you're going into a nice line. So if you could draw a line, so that this foot is straight ahead, back foot goes into an angle. So you can tell that it's going to be this line that goes back. So I'm just showing you in that position. We're going to come back to this side. So you can see it a little bit better sideways over here. Again, taking the right hand is straight. Back hand is in an angle. Lining up the heel, the arch here. I'm go ahead and step it back. I'm stepping it about three to four feet apart. Go right into your warrior two. Bring your hands onto your shoulders. Roll the shoulders up and back. And then squeeze the elbows to the back of the room. And then extend your arms out. And then back hand down, front hand up for reverse warrior two. Spiral this thigh forward so it keeps your knee safe. And here come back to warrior two. Bend the front elbow to extended side angle. Coming back up on an inhale. And then exhale, release the arms. Inhale, extend the arm up overhead for reverse warrior two. Now coming back, exhale here, inhale, bend the front elbow, place on the front thigh, exhale, reach for the sky for extended. Coming back up and again, you want to do the same thing, inhaling reverse, opening up the lungs. Exhale, come back up, you're going to go right into an extended, so you're kind of crunching into your lower body, sink into the hips, coming back up. Straighten the front leg. It almost look like a triangle. Back hand down, front hand up for reverse triangle. Comes back up. Going to reach for the wall in front of you, keeping your front leg straight. Reach for the wall. Lower the left arm down. Right arm goes up to the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. Reverse your triangle. Coming back up. Front hand goes towards the wall. Back hand goes up to the ceiling. Triangle. One more time, back hand in, front hand up, for reverse. One more time for triangle. Coming back up, bend into your front knee, drop both arms down, look forward, step the right foot to meet the other. You can get it without falling over. So same thing, now the right foot is back, and we're gonna go back. So finding your warrior two, so you want to drop your fingers onto your shoulders, roll the shoulders back, and bring the elbows back so you feel more of your shoulders going back. And again, you want to lengthen the tailbone down so your, your ribs don't pop out. Back hand down, front hand up. For the reverse warrior two. Coming back up, bend the front elbow, place it on the front thigh, the left arm up. Coming back up, going to reverse it, right into a reverse warrior two. Come back up into a nice side angle. And coming back up, reverse. The last time, go into your side angle. Coming back up, straighten the front knee. And bring in your left hand down, right hand up. Reverse triangle. Coming back up, your front hand goes towards the wall, drop the right hand down, back hand goes up to the ceiling. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reverse. Inhaling, stretch it out. Exhaling, inhaling here, and exhaling here. One more time. Inhale up, exhale. Go ahead and go into your reverse triangle. Inhale up and exhale into your extended. Bend into your front knee. Look forward, drop your hands down and step it up and shake out the feet. Now go ahead and inhale, extend our arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. 
Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, step your right foot back, left foot back into a plank pose. Squeeze the belly in, shift forward, and go into your chaturanga. Tuck your toes, inhale for upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back, push the floor away, to lift your shoulders away from your ears. Roll over your toes, go into a downward facing dog. We're going to shift into plank pose again. We're going to go into side plank. So you're going to go ahead onto your left outer foot, stack your right foot on top of it. Now look at the spot down at your floor first as you lift your right hand down. Get yourself balanced first before you come up. Then you can bring your arm up, you can use your belly. Roll the right shoulder back as you push the floor away. Try to keep the right hip going forward. And then extend the left right arm up to the ceiling. You can look up at the ceiling if it's okay. You can even extend the right arm up, leg up if you want. <laughs> and come back into plank. It's hard to talk and do it at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and go right on to the other side. So roll on to the right foot. The left foot stacks. And then you can extend your left arm when you're ready. You can even extend the left leg up and come back down into plank. Shift back into a downward facing dog. And then lower your knees. And go into a child's pose. Lifting your head, I'm going to go ahead and go back into our downward dog. Look forward, bend your knees, and bring your left foot in an angle. And the right leg is going to be right on top of it, so you can just go right onto your buttocks and extend the legs out. I'm feeling a little warm. I feel a little warm here. Yeah. Okay, extend your arms up overhead. And squeeze the belly in, lift your chest, and then forward, forward, and grab onto your feet. You want to try to roll the shoulders back. Shoot the crown of the head out this way, so you still have your nice straight or spine. Not everybody can be perfectly straight. You're just stretching out the legs and the lower back. And then slowly come back up. Bend the right knee, hop it on over to the other side. Go ahead and do our twist. So left arm around the right knee and twist over to the right. Nice long breaths. Come back to center and let's go ahead and do the other side. So right leg is straight and the left knee, hop it on over. Right arm goes around and then twist over to the left. Keep it a very straight spine, roll the left shoulder back. Now cover back to center. Bending both knees. Let's go ahead and roll down onto your back. Should feel nice to do this by now. Bring the knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. Reconnecting, slowing down. And bringing your arms out to achieve. If you want to do, do a gentle twist here, go for it. Both knees up to the right. A lot of cracking here for me. Back to center and right on to the other side. And then we'll come back to center and go into our final rest pose. Yay! Go ahead and get yourself nice and comfortable in your Shavasana. 
bringing your arms alongside, relax the shoulders, relax your chest to open, relax the belly, let your feet off, flop off to the sides, palms up. Now begin to just notice how your body feels as you take this awesome pose, Shavasana. To wiggle your toes and your fingers, bringing your knees into your chest. Hug them close for a moment. Right arm overhead to roll onto your right side. Use your right arm or hand as a pillow. And you can use your left hand down to the floor to help you come up to a seated position. Setting up nice and tall with your legs are going to be crossed over to Sukhasana. Softening the face and the jaw, closing your eyes. Bringing your hands into prayer at the center. Thumbs touching your heart. And remember the intention that you set for your practice. Send it out to the universe on your own. Up to the forehead to bow to yourself to seal your practice. Coming on up. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.